Our next uh, speaker is Yuvi Liu. Um, yes. So I'll grab the screen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just, just one second. I'm trying to find the screen I want to share. Yeah, here. Can you see it? Yes, you can see the screen. Okay. So hello everyone. Uh, I am Yi Wei Liu from Carnegie Mellon. And today I'm very glad to present our work on the uh, probabilistic safe adaptive merging control for autonomous vehicles under motion uncertainty. So it is a fact that the uh, autonomous vehicles will have to share roads with the human drivers before they completely replace all the human driven cars. So our goal here is to provide a safe control method to help the ego vehicles to merge with the human driven cars safely, efficiently, and uncertainty. And the uniqueness about this scenario is that we need to balance the driving conservativeness and the aggressiveness. And here's our system dynamics where we use double integrators to describe the vehicles. And U is the acceleration control input for the ego vehicle. And here we include the epsilon as a random Gaussian variable to represent the motion uncertainty in this system. And here's our problem formulation as a bi-level optimization problem. So first we have the objective function representing the control effort in the minimally, minimally invasive manner. And the first constraint we have is the kinematics constraint. The second constraint is the safety constraint where we formulate it as a chance constraint problem where uh, we, with eta on the right-hand side as the confidence level for the CBF uh, statement inside the bracket. And the third constraint we have is the feasibility constraint. We need this constraint because uh, for these kind of optimization-based controllers, sometimes they may become infeasible due to the conflicts among different constraints. And here we formulate it as a uh, an optimization problem over the uh, CBF parameter alpha, which is also the driving strategy, the degree of uh, behavior aggressiveness or uh, conservativeness. And to figure out where the uh, where this third constraint comes from, we first need to understand why the problem will become infeasible. So if we formulate the safety constraint into the uh, form of AU less than or equal to B, uh, now we have two ellipsoids representing the kinematics constraint and the safety constraint. And we can see that the solution infeasibility happens when the overlap of the two intervals becomes empty. And we can further derive an upper bound and lower bound over the control input U. And with the expression of the A term and B term as the state dependent variables, through observations, we can see how the derived bound will change uh, if we change the value of alpha. And here's the visualization. Uh, we use the red dash lines to represent the bounded, uh, sorry, re represent the derived bound of the uh, decreased upper bound and increased lower bound, increased lower bound. And we can see the blue intervals represent the reducing solution set while alpha keep uh, decreasing. And here's our proposed algorithm. Since this is a stepwise uh, optimization problem, uh, at each step, we first optimize our control input U to provide safety guarantee. And secondly, we optimize over uh, driving strategy alpha to provide the solution feasibility guarantee for the next step. And here's the first validity test we take uh, with randomly generated initial conditions for the ego vehicle, including position, velocity, and driving strategy. And among 400 trials, we achieve a 0% collision rate. Uh, and in this ability test, we set the confidence level as uh, 99%. And the second validity test we take is the comparison with the uh, traditional CBF with fixed alpha value. And with the blue line here uh, stands for the traditional CBF with fixed alpha. And the yellow line as the proposed method with updated alpha. And we have the green zone here representing the time interval where in our proposed method, the alpha value is getting uh, updated uh, over this time. And we can see that these two methods share the exactly same uh, performance before entering the green zone. And they start to differentiate since they enter the green zone. 
uh, for the con traditional control barrier function without uh, with fixed alpha value, uh, the optimization zone becomes infeasible. And after that, it uh, breaks the safety requirement. While uh, our proposed method is managed to stay safe all the time. Next, we are going to talk about the uh, factors that can affect the Eagle vehicle's behavior generation. The first factor is, of course, the choice of alpha, since it represents the degree of driving conservativeness or aggressiveness. And here's the case where the Eagle vehicle merges in the back of the merging vehicle. And we can see the smaller alpha is, the more conservative the driving strategy is. And here's a case where the Eagle vehicle will merge in front of the merging vehicle. And now we can see the larger alpha is the more aggressive the driving strategy is. The second factor we are going to talk about is the choice of initial conditions of the Eagle vehicle. So here we consider the merging task with two merging vehicles on the ramp. And we, uh, we run two cases where we give the Eagle vehicle uh, two different kinds of initial conditions, including position and velocity. So here's the case one. Uh, now we, we see what happens if we use the aggressive driving strategy and conservative driving strategy. In this case, the aggressive driving strategy makes the Eagle vehicle merges in front of the first merging vehicle, while the conservative strategy makes the Eagle vehicle merge in between the two merging vehicles. And in case two, uh, this time we use the same uh, driving strategy, but we drag the Eagle vehicle a bit further from the merging point and give it a slower speed. Now the same aggressive driving strategy makes the Eagle vehicle merges in between the two merging vehicles, while the same conservative driving strategy makes the Eagle vehicle merges after the second merging vehicle. So in conclusion, we propose a bi-level optimization uh, control framework to enable the autonomous vehicles to achieve consistent safe ramp merging behavior and uncertainty with formally provable safety guarantee and solution feasibility guarantee in runtime. We also discuss the factors affecting the Eagle vehicle's behavior generation. With that, I would like to conclude here and we'll be happy to take any questions later. Thank you. Thank you, Yuri. Uh, 